Hi, this is Sarah Catherine Gutierrez back this week with another Save Yourself column, this time on healthcare. We hear a lot about the rising cost of healthcare, but I really want to drill down into one specific area where I believe a lot of Americans are exposed, a lot of our Kansans are exposed. And that is with um, a healthcare plan that I didn't even understand what it was a decade ago. I didn't even know its existence a decade ago. And now they become, they become more and more common. And that is the high deductible healthcare plan. And so this is basically a plan where the first $1,500, the first $2,000, the first $3,000, or in my case, the first $6,900 of healthcare expenses are paid by me and then the health insurance will take over. Or in more serious events where maybe two or more members of the family experience needing health care that hits again these thousands of dollars, I might have a 13,000 or higher family deductible or another good buzzword bingo jargon the out-of-pocket expense, which is absolutely the limit. Like how much money would have to leave my pocket in one year before 100% of all healthcare is paid for. So I am not a healthcare expert, but in many ways on these high deductible healthcare plans, one becomes a little bit of an expert because there is so much money at stake, you almost have to. So the first um, piece of advice I have for anybody who, um, again, uh, is listening to this or has family or friends that, that you have concerns about with money or with saving, the first thing to do is to go look at what kind of health care plan you have. And, um, and a high deductible health care plan, actually that is the technical term for it, or an HDHP is a lot of times the way we refer to them. So um, these high deductible healthcare plans have one advantage for you um, because obviously if you're in one of these, you cannot hope and pray that you will not have an accident. As I talk about in the column, um, my daughter was not supposed to break her pinky this year because we only do those things every other year because our goal is to try to not hit our $6,900 deductible or more every single year. And so she was supposed to wait to do something like that next year. Well, she did not stick with the program. And so we are gonna be having to, to pay for these things. And the thing is when people have these high deductible healthcare plans, um, I'm a, being a little tongue in cheek on this, but, but the goal is, is, or the hope is to not have any expense. And we simply, we can hope for that, but we have to plan for the alternative. So as much as I was hoping that we were not going to have a broken pinky finger that would cost probably what's in, in, gonna end up being thousands of dollars, I planned, and my husband and I planned, for the alternative happening. And the best way to plan and to save at the same time as hoping <laughs> that nothing happens is in what's called a health savings account. Now, you might think, oh, you open up an account and call it savings. Well, not exactly. It's an actual thing. It's an actual type of account. Um, not nearly enough people who are in high deductible healthcare plans seem to either know or take advantage of these. But these are very similar to the old kind of flexible spending accounts that many people still have today. But instead of you know, these use it or lose it accounts where you have to game the system and figure out how to put just as much money as you can to get the tax advantage, but not too much because you might find yourself buying Band-Aids and Q-tips at Walgreens at the end of the year trying to spend the money. A health savings account, you don't have to use it or lose it. You get to keep it for a long period of time. So I recommend that, um, that, that, that people first look at their plans, find out what kind you have, and if it is indeed a health a high deductible health care plan, go read my column. You can see, um, you know, I have very specific advice based on um, what kind of health care people um, could reasonably expect to be consuming on an annual basis. So happy saving, y'all. Um, high deductible health care plans are here to stay. I don't see them going away anymore, um, going away very quickly. And so the best thing we can do is to save ourselves and save for ourselves and save for these future health care expenses.
Happy saving.